So the question is, does hunting make you a man? Does killing animals make you a man? Hell no, it doesn't make you a man. You know, that's what I was taught growing up. That's what I thought hunting and fishing growing up in Bozeman, Montana. Oh, that's how you become a man. You kill animals, you hunt them down, then you're manly. Look, that doesn't make you a man. You know what makes you a man is being a father, being there for your kids, sticking around, doing the best that you can do, being an honest, highly integrity-based person, standing up for others who are in need and helping others, having compassion, realizing that, look, we don't need to kill innocent animals to survive. Yeah, if you want to, go ahead. That's your choice, that's your right, I won't judge you. But it doesn't make you a man. You know what makes you a man? What toughens you, what makes you stronger is having high moral fabric, actually doing what you say you're gonna do, being a good leader, caring about others, and that requires compassion and kindness as well as strength and resilience. You build resilience through tough times. Standing up in a gun tower in the middle of the wilderness waiting for an innocent animal to come up and then just kill it and take its life doesn't make you a man. Yeah, if you want to do that and that's how you get your meat and that's how you eat, hey, more power to you, man. I'm not going to judge you. I did that when I was a kid. But once I realized I don't need meat to survive, actually I thrive on plants, I don't kill animals anymore. I don't think anybody has to, but again, that, that's up to you. But don't say it makes you a man to go out and kill animals innocent animals and take their lives. It doesn't make you a man, it just makes you a murderer.